this year our fundraising is going to be even more as we're starting a full time tutoring program so that we can bring our students and task force up. Okay, Richard, I want to come back to you because again, money, funding, unions, all this stuff can do pretty well at Community War with um, what would you say would have to be fixed? Uh, the system is not perfect, right? It, it isn't perfect. Right now, the city school system loses $49.5 million a year to Boston based charter schools. Uh, and the kids in those Boston based charter schools do not come necessarily from the Boston school system. So the money is left, but the students that did not necessarily leave. They could come from a parochial school, for example. So the money goes directly to the charter school, and the student, the money doesn't follow the student. So what, it's a really a net loss for the city. Now, under the governor's proposal, that would double the $49.5 million lost every year. So we're talking about losing $100 million a year, which is an awful lot of money. Um, we would feel a lot more comfortable if the state adjusted the funding formula totally. Now, they do make some modifications in this, but we would be more comfortable, and I think most people would, certainly uh, those in city administration, if the funding formula were adjusted so that the city did not necessarily lose funds every time a child enrolled in a charter school within its uh, geographic uh, domain. So, so, so it, it wouldn't be you know, a win-loss situation, right? It'd be win-win. Well, right now it's not. Right now it's not win-win. That doesn't make you, the union very happy. It doesn't make the city administration very happy either, and the Mass Municipal Association is not in favor of the governor's proposal for the same reason. Right. That doesn't take into account the fact that districts are reimbursed the first year that a charter school, for example, a student comes to us from Chelsea. Um, the district is reimbursed for that student that comes to Phoenix at 100%. Second year, 60 percent. Third year, 40 percent. So the state pays out the tuition to the charter school, and it covers that tuition uh, for the district. And that's the piece that I don't feel like it is brought up enough. That there is this reimbursement. You're right, except that it's just for the first three years, and they still they do it regardless of whether the student came from the Chelsea public schools or the Boston public schools, or just came in out of nowhere and went to the charter school. So it isn't a fee to one to one swap. I don't know. My question is, the money's coming in, and wherever they go, public school or charter school, the end result is to be filled. I thought I thought I put it that. I did. I did. You say that the money isn't allocated appropriately, or that the student, the money's being taken away from the certain sections of the school. Again, I go back to the simple underlying answer to me. Ultimately, it's supposed to go to the students, so that it doesn't really make a difference in terms of if it goes to a charter school system or a Boston public school system, as long as the student benefits from it? It does make a difference. Um, you're right on the one hand that all students belong to the city and all students uh, should get paid for equally. I certainly agree with that. However, charter schools do not take all students. Uh, Get him, buddy. Get the birdie. Get him. Get him.
Get him. Get him. Bad boy! 